Hey guys, so this year I was super heads down focused on making sure I wasted less this year, that I was bringing less products in the house and making more of my own products or consuming products differently. So I recycled less and my waste footprint was much, much smaller than it's ever been before. So I wanna just share some of those changes that we made in this house. So maybe as you enter the new year, it'll give you some inspiration to do the same. So first off, I wanna say this isn't a pretentious video at all. We by no means are perfect. I still go to the grocery store. There are still things that I buy that I don't haven't come up with a zero waste option for. But I am gonna tell you and share with you some of the changes that we're much more conscious about um, because it is something that I am passionate about. So I'm just gonna work my way around. So one of the very first things and the easiest thing that anyone can do is um, just make sure that you always have your own shopping bags in your car. And we always keep some shopping bags in our trunk, the back seat. When we bring it in and put groceries away, we make sure to take a few back out in case you're just going to like say tractor trailer supply. There's no reason to get a bag. You can either carry your goods out with you in your arms if it's a few things, just tell them no thanks, I don't need a bag, or take your bags in with you if you're gonna be buying a few more things. I found these cute little things this um, at Ikea. They're little produce shopping bags. And a lot of the uh, gift bags these days are even super, super sturdy that you can use as shopping bags. Next one, and it's one of our, has been in our lives, one of our biggest offenders from uh, plastic waste consumption are our Ziploc bags. So we always use gallon Ziploc bags and I'll say we even still do just cause I don't have enough of my zero waste option. So I'm gonna try to build up my supply and you know your little sandwich Ziploc bags. What I got early this year was a whole bunch and I have quite a few. I think I got three sets and they're all different sizes, silicone zip bags. And these are awesome guys. You can put liquids in there, they will not spill. So what I need to do is I need to source a good amount of the gallon size ones for when I preserve like my foods and my berries from over the um, harvest season. So that is a great option. I'll make sure to link to those in the description below. I did find those on Amazon. Water bottles. We all know water bottles are the worst, right? And a lot of people still buy water bottles. Just make that easy step and go get yourself your own water bottle um, that is reusable, refillable. You never have to buy water bottles again. Say you've got kind of not so good tap water on hand. Um, we bought ourselves a Berkey. I just got this for Christmas, so I'm super excited. We weren't finicky about our tap water before. We would just fill this up, but I am glad to have this now that we have more filtered water. It's healthier for us. It doesn't have all those harsh chemicals in it. So that is a great option too. This will be in the description below. Another thing to think about when you're consuming products is what kind of packaging options you have when you're buying something. So of course, package free is the best option. When you're buying fresh produce, look for apples that aren't in the plastic bags, just pre-select your apples. If you do have to buy packaging, this is just coffee for example, look for paper packaging that you can compost, which is the absolute best option. If you don't have a means to compost, then um, say you have a flower bed in the front yard, you can put it out there as weed barrier in a spot. But again, if you live in an apartment, you don't have a flower bed, you don't have a composting area that you could drop it off, paper is the best option when it comes to recycling. Sticking with that theme about consuming less um, and how you, when you do need to purchase things, how you might be able to purchase them differently is say you're a big popcorn lover. Don't go buy those um, microwavable popcorn bags. Stove popped popcorn, in my opinion, is way better than microwave popcorn. And just buy in bulk. Again, look for paper packaging if you can find it. 
and then store it in your mason jar and you have the uh, right size popcorn that you want anytime. And then I buy a lot of things in bulk now. It's very easy to find them in paper, paper packaging. So bulk flour, I buy in large 50 pound bags and then uh, vacuum seal in large mason jars. This is chai seeds that I buy in bulk. Um, and then teas. So we all, a lot of us are tea lovers, right? Start making your own blends, things that you like. Um, so I started sourcing my own. So this I grew, my own mint. This is hibiscus. And then buy yourselves some reusable tea bags and you can make your own blends and make your own teas. So no more buying um, store-bought tea. And then lastly is uh, your herbs. So it is convenient to go and pick up an herb um, spice that you need, but you don't have to. You can make your own. Look, there's all kinds of great seasoning blend recipes online, and we grow a lot of our own herbs. So for example, this is my sage and oregano. Um, nope, time. And Taco seasoning is another one. I make my own taco seasoning. I don't have to go and buy that, you know, non-recyclable packaging of taco seasoning mix. It's super easy to make your own. Our next worst offender in our lifetime has been paper plates. We were a huge paper plate family. Just with so many kids growing up in the house, it was a lot easier to use paper plates than it was to wash dishes. So this year, and my husband still really, really enjoys the convenience of paper plates from time to time. So I'm happy to report that this year we did not buy any paper plates. What we switched to for that convenience item was the compostable paper plates. So they come in different sizes. You can get what you like. And then we really dramatically use, um, changed the way we actually use dishes in the house. So for convenience sake, it's much more um, matter of habit now that we grab a dish to eat on. We just hand wash it or throw it in the washing machine. Or in the case of where you actually need a paper plate, we use comp compostable. I have a bag in the pantry that all the comp compostable paper plates go in and they either get thrown out in the chicken run for the chickens to break up and compost or I use them as weed barrier around new plants. Sticking with other kitchen items that are frequently used. And the reason why I'm showing you guys these things is because I still have them in my home. So like I said, I'm not perfect. We're working our way out of the items. As they're done with, we try not to ever purchase them again. Plastic wrap is another very easy one to replace. You have lots of different options. So we make our own beeswax wraps, super convenient. It's just um, fabric that you melt beeswax on and then they um, form to around your uh, dishes that you need to put plastic wrap on. You can use them as sandwich wraps, um, vegetable wraps, whatever you like. And I also have a whole bunch of these little doohickeys. And let me see if I can find one to show you as an example. They're just these little stretchy silicone lids that you know you could put over something and they, even though they're in a circle, they'll stretch to rectangle, squares, whatever you need. And these will last a long time, so long as I'm gentle with them and I don't rip them. Um, and that's an easy option to replace and, and very frugal too, they're not expensive. Now moving on to um, cleaning products, beauty products, things like that, changes that I made specifically is we didn't buy any Windex this year and I'm a huge Windex user. And this is actually not Windex in here. The unfortunate thing is my spray sprayer doesn't work anymore. So I do need to go and invest in a glass sprayer bottle, but I make my own all purpose cleaning solution now. Super simple, water, vinegar, maybe some alcohol if you need it. And then I, was also a huge soft scrub user. And I have found baking soda just as effective as anything soft scrub could ever use on. So these basically vinegar and baking soda are my cleaning products for my entire home now. Okay, let's talk hand soap. 
Everybody loves the yum smelling fun hand soaps. My husband loves them so much, even though he knows I make my own hand soap, he went and bought some, shame on him. Anyway, hand soaps, super fun, yes? But with essential oils and a little bit of Castile soap and water, you can make awesome hand soap that goes much, much, much farther than anything that you would ever buy at by store bought. Or you can even use your own um, homemade soaps and grate them up, melt it down in some hot water, and there's your handmade soap um, for hand soaps. So I have not bought hand soap other than the little fun thing that my husband bought over the holidays in a couple years. So that's an easy transition too. What I forgot to mention when it comes to paper products is we were huge paper towel users too. So this year I freaked my family out when I said we're not buying any more paper towels. What we have in the house is what we have in the house. And we switched to paper napkins. And then um, in the case of paper towels where it's needed, things like cheesecloth or just dishcloths. I did go to Salvation Army and I bought quite a few um, like baby blankets. Those make perfect size on paper towel, paper towels. So that's a great option. Again, I'll have a link to those paper or um, cloth napkins in the description below. Easy, easy switch. Might shock your family a little bit when they don't have a paper towel to go and reach for, but you never have to buy paper towels again. Awesome. What's been easy for me, not easy for my husband, was a switch to homemade deodorants. When I say it wasn't easy for him yet, he just hasn't given it a try. I keep telling him, I can make this for you. I think you're gonna really like it. So one of these days, I just need to make him a bar and see if he can make the switch. But I haven't bought deodorant in probably three years. I finally found an awesome recipe that for me is a great antiperspirant and deodorant. Um, now it is healthy to sweat, so it doesn't stop me fully from sweating if I'm overextending myself, but it is an awesome recipe. And so I don't go through a lot. I'll make two containers of it, and usually two containers last me a year. Another fun switch for me this year was lotion. So I loved, my family loves Herbalife lotion, and we use this, like one of these would last us a year for like our hand lotion. But since I found the ability that I can make my own lotion using our own tallow and lard that we have in the house, I have awesome moisturizer, body moisturizer. You can buy these cute little travel silicone tubes that you can then throw it in your purse and you have carry-all lotion sizes with you. And now shampoo. Again, my husband hasn't changed from his store-bought product yet, and I haven't quite offered to make him his own shampoo yet because I'm everyone's hair is different. His hair texture is much, much different than mine, and I'm still trying to make sure I find the right recipe for me. So this is my current shampoo, and I love it. I'm not 100% certain it's gonna be my forever shampoo, but I do love it. All bulk items that I can buy and continue to build up and uh, replenish my own shampoo from a one-time purchase. And it's in a waste-free container that I can reuse if I stop using this container for other things. There are a ton of options out there, guys, for you to build your home waste-free kit and make those small transitions, make it easy, make it fun. Um, get your family involved in making new products. And I hope that you'll all join in by just making one small change in your home and seeing the impact that it can have. And then gradually grow from there. But I wish you all the best of luck if you join me in this waste-free journey. And I'm not stopping here. There are a lot of things in our home today that I know I need to purge my way out of so I can truly become a zero waste home. Thanks guys and good luck in the new year.